Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. This video is gonna be about the customer feedback sending process. As you can probably see, this is the view of our page. Customers can share their feedbacks by clicking on these buttons. By clicking on feedback button, we are getting a bootstrap model like this. On top of the model, you can see its title as add the feedback. Then from here, customer can select the type of the feedback. Then this text area is here to insert the feedback. After inserting a feedback, they can click on this button to save that. Then this exit button is here to close the model. That's all, so let's get into our coding side of things. As you can see, this is our purchase history.php file. When clicking on this feedback button, I am calling a JS function named add feedback. I am also passing the product ID when calling that JS function. Then these are horns of our model. I am adding an ID to this model like this. We are doing this to grab the model from the JS side. I am also adding the product ID with that ID too. These are hordes of feedback type selecting radio buttons. We are adding separate IDs to every one of those radio buttons to carry their input field data using the Ajax method. Then these are horns of that text area which is there to insert the feedback. We are adding an ID to it like this. We are doing this to carry the input field data to the JavaScript side using the Ajax method. Then when clicking on the save feedback button we are calling a JS function named save feedback. We are also passing the product ID when calling that JS function like this. Alright, let's see our script.js file. First on here we are creating a global variable like this. Then you can see our add feedback JS function here like this. We are grabbing the passing product ID from here like this. Then we are grabbing the feedback model using its ID like this. When calling the add feedback JS function, we are showing the model like this. Then you can see our save feedback JS function here like this. We are also grabbing the passing product ID from here like this. Then from here we are creating a new global variable as type. Then from here we are grabbing those radio buttons using their IDs. Then we are grabbing that feedback text area using its ID. Then from here we are creating a new form data like this. Then I am appending product ID, then feedback type, finally the value of the inserted feedback. Then 
then from here we are creating a new xml http request like this we are creating this to request from the feedback saving process.php side then this already state change is here to figure out the current state of our request If the ready state is equal to 4 and response text is equal to 1, we are hiding the feedback model. If we are receiving another response text, these codes are alerting that. Then from the bottom we are sending our request to feedback saving process.php side using the post method like this. Ok, let's see our feedback saving process.php file. First as usual I am starting the session on top of this PHP script like this. Then I am requiring connection.php file to establish the connection with our database. Then these session codes are checking out whether a user is signed in or not. If a user was signed in, we are keeping their email address like this. Then from here we are grabbing and keeping the past product ID like this. Then from here we are keeping the feedback type like this. Then we are keeping the feedback text area like this. Then this insert query is inserting feedback details to our feedback relation like this. After completing that process this is echoing a response as one. So folks that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.